Stop chasing prospects that don't really want to work with you. I want to share a story with you today that's going to help you eliminate this practice so you can save time and money while working with clients that you love. Hi, I'm Tim Fitzpatrick with Rialto Marketing, where we believe marketing shouldn't be difficult. All you need is the right plan. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And I want to share a story um, that was relayed to me from a friend of mine that I meet with every month so that we can help push each other forward. But he relayed a story to me and, and I forgive me because this was it was a video and I can't remember the gentleman's name, but it was a video from a ClickFunnels event that they had. And this, this gentleman spoke, spoke there. And the the story that he told was about how the Coast Guard chooses who they're going to have to save or who they can save. So just picture, you know, this boat's capsized out at sea. There's people in the water and Coast Guard, they're in their helicopter. They're flying out. They get to the scene of, of the accident and there's too many people to save. They do not have enough space in that helicopter to save every single one of those people that's in the water right now. So who do they choose to save? They choose to save the people that are swimming towards them. Now, I don't know if this story is true. I don't know if that's exactly how the Coast Guard does this, but the analogy hits home perfectly and is super relevant to us, any business owner, any salesperson chasing down leads and prospects, trying to convince them to work with us. If those leads and prospects aren't swimming towards us, they're not going to be great clients. They just aren't. We can't help everyone. Okay. We can only help those people that want our help. It reminds me of the analogy. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. It's the exact same thing. You know, we can only help those people that are swimming towards us. Now, I'm not telling you that you shouldn't market, you shouldn't be selling, right? You shouldn't be following up with prospects because I think you absolutely should. But once you've communicated, you know, your value, you know, the benefits of working with you, what, what makes you different from your competitors? You know, the, the specific problem that you solve for clients, you know, your process, what's your unique process in getting clients results. Once you've communicated those things and you've had that conversation with the prospect, if they're not starting to swim towards you, they're, you're wasting your time trying to convince them. You just are. It's because they're never, you have to wait until they're at that place where they are starting to swim towards you. So once you've had that conversation, stop wasting your time. I have made this mistake over and over again, many times, especially when I started Rialto Marketing in the beginning, there were clients that we started to work with where we wanted the results that we knew we could get them more than they wanted the results for their own business. That's a lousy position to be in. And inevitably, the vast majority of those clients they didn't stay with us long. They weren't committed. And because they weren't committed, they didn't respond quickly when we needed things. And because they weren't committed, it was diff It was more difficult for us to get results for them. And so it just, it wasn't worth working with them. They weren't ideal clients. So stop chasing people and trying to convince them. Okay. If they're not starting to swim towards you after you've had these initial conversations about what you do and how you can help, they're not ready. So I'm not saying drop those people. Maybe they go into your, you know, they're on your email list and you nurture them through email until they get to that point where they're ready. Because when they're ready, if you've been nurturing them and you're staying top of mind and continuing to add value to them, when they're ready, they'll reach out. But if you've had that initial conversation, Stop wasting your time trying to convince people to work with you. They need to be swimming towards you. And if they're not, they're not ready. So I, that story really hit home with me. And, and the analogy just made so much sense. 
I hope it makes as much sense for you as it did for me. And if you have been chasing down prospects, trying to get them to convince, trying to convince them to work with you, that you stop doing it because you don't need to. You want to work with those people that are swimming towards you, that are ready to work with you. And you, you will be so much happier. And frankly, I think you'll get much better results for your clients when you do it. So I hope you find that helpful. Thank you for tuning in. Again, I'm Tim Fitzpatrick with Rialto Marketing. If you want to gain clarity on where to focus your marketing efforts right now to get the best return, hop on over to our website at rialtomarketing.com. That's R-I-A-L-T-O marketing.com. Click on the get a free consult button. I guarantee you will get a ton of value from the call and walk away having some clarity on where you should focus your marketing efforts next. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time, take care.